Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to day two of old school RuneScape Twisted Leagues. Now, if you guys missed day one, I'll leave the link in the description for the playlist. Make sure you catch up on the progress on the episode number one. And secondly, I just like to say a massive thank you for all the positive support I received on the very first video. It definitely motivates me to put in insane hours during the Twisted Leagues. So that being said, I really hope you enjoyed the second episode. And due to the feedback that I received yesterday, we will continue with the progress of both of our accounts so it should be a ton of fun ladies and the gentlemen we just achieved 48 fishing which means we now no longer need to train fishing i'm gonna go ahead and get some farming up and some crafting up by plowing the fields and in the process get some nice hosidia's favor i do believe the plowing fields are right over here so that's where i'm going to and then after that i think my goal will be to get a little bit of mining up a little bit of smithing up just getting my gathering skills up um, just so I get better loot at Winter Todd later on and to also get my tasks going. If we claim more points, we just got 80 points there by just completing the basic tasks, which is awesome. At some point though, I will need to get my HP higher so I can make my way over to south of uh, this place where I can use barbarian fishing. But for that, I need to go through this whole area full of lizard men and I cannot do that with 10 HP, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but that is for the future. We just need a hammer right now and we can go ahead and get some crafting and farming levels um on the second note i don't think i'll be plowing the fields so uh i think i'll just train a little bit of cooking with the fish that i caught i'm about to do track of the century but i also just received the second brimstone key drop on the slayer account which is huge we now have two and we're gonna be opening them as soon as i'm done with this task i can't possibly have a lot of these left uh, because i've been here what it feels like forever really um but yeah that's that's pretty solid and on this account i need to well i'm gonna try to run all the way from here to mount but i don't think i can make it with 10 hp but i'm gonna try this is getting kind of surreal we just got ourselves another brimstone key so we have three to open that is crazy that is really good we just achieved 15 strength kicking rats and that is basically a requirement for me to be able to wield barbarian rod. I wasn't actually aware that I need 15 strength. Well, now I know and uh, now we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna train barbarian fishing. So we're basically gonna get strength and agility XP whilst basically also editing the day one video. So it's gonna be pretty nice. Oh, don't tell me I died to the... F we're good. It feels like it has been a year since I started this task, but on a positive note, we have so many things worth money right now, so we're not broke. And we have three brimstone keys to open, so I'm honestly quite hyped. I'm honestly quite hyped to go, and to go ahead, grab a new task, see what it is, and most importantly, see what I get from the brimstone keys. If I get something good, I might go ahead and kill fire giants till the point where I get the rune, rune scimitar or maybe I'll kill something else, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. I just need a couple of food just in case. Wait, I don't have... Okay, I'll thieve a bit of food and I'll make my way over to the Slayer Master. I could swap my spellbooks at some point. I think I'll do it once I have 43 prayer so I can teleport there. But right now I don't even have law runes or anything like that. So I can't really teleport to the battlefront TP yet. So we're going to gonna get a couple of cakes and just run there here we go this can be absolutely game changing uh first things first though let's see what the next task is gonna be ankus we need prayer for those and let's see what we get from this 34 diamonds not ideal 450 coal not ideal no Things are not looking too good, as you can see, I can, I mean, I guess I can sell this adamant mace for a little bit of money, and I can sell, oh shit, the battle stuff for quite a bit of money, actually. Okay, never mind, it, it's not too bad. We are going to use about 1.5k casts that I could afford right over here at Fire Giants. Um, in the process, wait, this might be a bit hard to get. Can I get this one? Nice. In the process, we will get some magic levels, but most importantly, prayer levels and, uh, well, rune scimitar, hopefully, in this amount of casts. If not, hopefully we get some fire battle stems, maybe rune arrows that we can then sell in order for us to be able to rebuy runes and then go for that um, rune scimitar. It's a pretty important thing to get, so we're gonna be here for a while. 
I think I am decided of what my general plan of this account is going to be. I think I want to get to about 40 of every stat because that is going to get me pretty much a lot of points for the new tier. And then once I unlock the new relics, pretty much at that point, I then can focus on Slayer or focus on a singular activity, for example, like 99 fire making. So yeah, I am just fishing right now. I've been fishing for a while. I will be doing it until 40 strength, 40 agility, and then we're going to move on to other activities. Huge level coming in, 60 fishing on our main account, and the reason why that is huge is because of points. That should give me a bunch of them, as you can see, that gave me 50 points from just reaching that level. As I said earlier, I'm staying here until 40 strength and agility, and after that we move to other skills. I have mining and smithing in mind at the moment. I will be returning here at a later date, but for now I'm just going to finish 40 agility, which is just a couple of catches, and I'll also finish 65 fishing now that I see I'm so close to it. And after that, I will go ahead and get my thieving up. We're gonna be thieving some master farmer, then I'm gonna start training my farming with the seeds that I get from it, and while I wait for my crops to grow, I might start working on mining. So definitely need to get this farming going. We do wanna reach 45, so we can then go ahead and enter the the guild but there we go 40 agility as well and now the next level will be 65 fishing and here we have it 65 fishing also accomplished very very nice let's go ahead and very quickly claim points from tasks basically just got a hundred points there very nice uh, let's get these thieving uh, levels now as well I should get well, I'll get 40 thieving first, but I do want to get to 64 eventually, and then uh, thieve the chest for the Xeric Talisman. But that's for the future, let's get thieving for now. So for some reason, the frame rate on that clip is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what happened there, but as you can see, we ended up getting a rune scimitar, which will be the best in slot item all the way until we can get an abyssal whip, and that is very, very long into the tournament. So very happy with the drop, it is literally gonna be game changing. So I didn't know I had enough points to just get a new relic and then I clicked collect points and apparently with the 40 attack and 40 strength I do have enough points to get a new relic. This is going to be my Slayer account and let's see what we want. Do we want Hardcore Harvester? You receive three times the normal amount. Oh no, I already know what I want. I want this one. I want uh, relics and I want a natural selection. I want to be able to choose what tasks I get. Uh, when receiving Slayer task and farming contracts, you can now choose uh, what you are assigned select. Unfortunately though, I currently have an Anku task and they are actually very, very hard to kill. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and get 43 prayers so I can prayer flick through them and do them with the shitty stats and the rune scimitar. It's gonna be rough, uh, but uh, you know, we are ZR restricted and we're gonna make it work somehow, one way or another. So we finally finished plowing the fields and honestly I had to wait so long to even get the plow, but luckily we got to 5% and then I can get from 5 to 15% just doing this saltpeter compost thingy. Um, so that's kind of cool. And then after that I can start thieving the things that I wanna thieve. So this shouldn't take too long. And this is the method that I use. It's probably one of the fastest ways to do it. And uh, as you can see, as soon as I hand these in, I'll get 15% pretty much. You need 100 to go from 5% to 15%. 100 composts done. Let's go ahead and see if that is going to be enough. This place is why we decided to get the favor in. Now I'm gonna take a tip from Solo Missions video actually, and I'm gonna get 15 of the good ones so I can make super compost out of them. And as you can see here in the chat, I also got 40 thieving just now, which is gonna give me extra points, which is awesome. And on top of that, we got this task done, which was still a Galovanova fruit top, which is this thingy. Um, so now I'm gonna stay here until I have 15 of uh, the ones that I can make super super compost out of and then we're gonna go and steal uh, master farmer for seeds so we can plant stuff. So pretty good so far. After that, I don't exactly know what I want to do so I guess I'll figure it out on the spot. Here we go, 15 fruits obtained. I'll just throw them all in the, everything else in the bank and now I'm gonna go ahead and thieve a master farmer. I'm just not quite sure where they are. All right, thanks to some friendly people, I found the master farmer and it's actually right in Hazidia's, just in this tiny house. Uh, I'm gonna be thieving him for a little bit, I don't exactly know how long. Um, I just need to get enough seeds to be able to plant stuff pretty much and then I'm good to go. And uh, 42 thieving, nice. 
perfect. We can now just let the compost prepare. And meanwhile, we're just gonna plant a bunch of random junk um, for the first rotation of uh, farming. We do wanna go for 45 because at that level, we can then go to the, to the farming guild and that's gonna be kind of huge. And ladies and gentlemen, we finally reached 43 prayer, which means I can now go ahead and try and flick my way through the Anku task. But before we go and do that, let's go ahead and click task, claim points, and we just got a hundred more points. Very nice. Here we have it, 45 Slayer coming through. And I'm pretty excited to have the ability to choose tasks because this one is horrible, man. At least with these stats, it's absolutely... Oh man, it's really, really bad. As soon as I have maybe better stats, maybe better gear, it might be worth doing again. But for now, this one is absolutely horrible. I'm gonna push through it though, and um, yeah, I'll probably train to like 60 strength and then start working on more attack and stuff like that, but yeah, it's very slow. It's very slow with basically only rune scimitar. I have finally completed task number three. The stats on the Slayer only account are as follows. What I'm gonna be doing right now is I will be getting 60 Arceus favor because with that I'll be able to unlock teleport to basically Slayer Master pretty much. What I also wanna do on this account is I wanna get my farming up because I wanna be making potions eventually and every time I will finish a task I'll go to the farming guild and do the contracts if I'll be able to. So that's something I wanna be doing on this account but for that we need to start off uh, the farming and obviously thieving, get some seeds, stuff like that. So I think I'll do that first or I'll get the Arceus favor first. Either one or the other. I'm thinking the favor. Let's see how many Lorunes we have. So we have enough Lorunes to pretty much do 16 tasks, which is really, really good. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get the Arceus favor first, I guess. Alright, here's what I've been doing on our main account at the moment. I ended up getting nice little roundup on the combat stats. So we have 40 attack, strength and defense completed now. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly go here. Tasks, claim everything. A lot of points. I'm very, very close to the next perk, which is what I want to get right now very badly. I don't re really know which one I'm going to unlock. Obviously, they have been leaked, so we know which ones we can get, but I don't know which one I want yet. I am finally level 10 crafting, which means I can start spinning flags. And the only spinning wheel in Zia is right here in Watson's house, if we check the, take a look at the bank. So you have quite a little bit of a run towards the bank. Luckily, we have 100 run energy, which is kind of nice. I'm going to stay here until 40 crafting. Then I'll finish my 60 thieving or 64 thieving. In the process, get enough seeds to finish my farming and then start working towards farming, uh, uh, towards mining and smithing. That's going to be the goal. I want the account to be pretty nicely rounded up and maybe even 40 base stats. And at that point, we can then uh, unlock the next OP relic. And I have an idea of which one I want to take. I want to take the Relic, which will give me 10% increased accuracy and damage. But we're going to talk about that once we get there. While I've been training crafting on my main account, I've also been doing books on our old account. And that was surprisingly worse. Well, simply because I don't have infinite run on that account. However, we now have 60 Arceus, which means we can unlock... Necromancy spellbook, which is the spellbook that we will stay on pretty much forever. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and see if I can get some more experience out of these books. Um, so doing this, for example, and no, unfortunately. So that means we're just gonna go ahead and drop these. Uh, we can always return and get them back. I'm gonna run to altar, and we're gonna go ahead and change our spellbook, and then I'll sh I'll show you why this is going to be so so good. I have been watching some other YouTubers obviously play leagues and completely random if you are not playing yet when it comes to relics I think I made a mistake taking arcane courier I was thinking about how nice it was gonna be to just afk a lot of things But now that I double think about it I feel like having an unnatural selection on this account would just be so much better um and even the other one like the, the problem with this is so many like all the relics are good in their own way but then again, the way I play, you know what, it might not be that bad. Because that way I'm definitely getting 99 fishing, I'm definitely getting 99 wood cutting, 99 farm making obviously, 99 mining is actually doable if I never need to drop food, if I just mindlessly click on the 3 iron rocks if you really think about it. I genuinely think it's doable, so it might not be the worst relic to pick, but you know, it, there's definitely discussion around it. 
Here we have it. As soon as I venerate on the Dark or Altar... Uh, never mind. As soon as I click Spellbook, I guess. Ah, there it is. We can now teleport basically to Arceus, Lumbridge Graveyard, but most importantly, Battlefront Teleport. I, I just want to try what happens if I click this. Alright, good, good, good. Just, just making sure, you know, you never know. But look at this teleport and look where it gets me. And it costs, it's pretty cheap, it's basically just one Law Rune and one Earth Rune, and we are right over here. And ladies and gentlemen, we just skipped the running from the entire Zia, through the boat, through Kebos Lowlands, through here, to up here. Honestly, at this point in time, I think Hill Giants are gonna be the best. Since my stats are pretty low, like I've went through all of these, and I, you guys need to realize I'm using Rune Scimitar and nothing else. So, I feel like taking um, Hill Giants or Mosh Giants would literally be ideal right now, because that way I'm getting a nice amount of lore runes flowing in, and uh, maybe some nature runes as well. So let's go ahead and take, uh, f let's take one task of Hill Giants, then we're gonna take a task of Mosh Giants and we can compare them. Until we can take Blood Velds at that point, I'll probably just camp Blood Velds for a while. Choose Hill Giants as your next task, you do not have enough Slayer Points to cancel it. Um, yes? Okay, and now we can teleport here and just do heal giants and then we can come back. Um, the good thing about blood Veils is they drop an ruby amulet, which I can then enchant for a strength amulet. So that's going to be really nice and a better way, in my opinion, to actually get an amulet of strength. They also drop black boots, for example, which are going to be... Oh, fuck, this teleports me here. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck, kurva. Calculations were slightly incorrect. We ended up on 39 crafting. That's okay. No worries. We're gonna get it later on. Now I'm gonna focus on finishing off 60 thieving once again for more points. I do want to unlock the next relic and I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. Alright, so hill giants are fairly decent. The only problem is I don't get a lot of drops simply because there's a lot of people and we're all Iron Man. So if one person tanks a hit or accidentally hits the same hill giants that I'm attacking, I automatically don't get a drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and try mosh giants for the next task. But this one wasn't too bad, honestly. We got a nation shard, we got insult heads. Alright, so what's the verdict? Moss Giants versus Hill Giants. Um, still no nature runes for Moss Giants, and it definitely feels much slower to kill those. Um, at least with the current stats that we have. Uh, so I think I will not be taking this task again. I don't think it's worth the time. I might be wrong though, but I'm not sure. And I'm definitely taking way more damage killing this. Uh, so not a task worth choosing in my opinion. A little bit of an update on our Slayer account. We are currently 52 attack, 58 strength and 48 Slayer already. Once I get these 60 hit points, we're gonna get a lot of points, and I will try to get to 60, 60, 60 combat stats, because that is gonna get me most likely enough points to unlock the new relic. Uh, in that time, most likely my Slayer will be pretty high as well, and I'm also getting passively this prayer level up. We're currently already 47, which is quite good. A whole lot of random loot coming from this task, but still, we ended up getting a couple of nature runes, which is not too bad. We ended up getting a steel bar, that might be useful. No brimstone keys though, but most importantly, we did complete another task and we got 60 strength, which means we get more points. So if we go tasks and claim points... Nice, 580 to go. We're now gonna go for 60 attack and then 60 defense, or maybe I'm not gonna go for 60 defense. Another goal completed, this is now 60 mining, we can now mine gold, but I'm pretty sure there's no gold ore on Zia. Here we go, we have a couple of books, I'm just not sure whether I want to put them on magic or runecrafting. I think I'll just take magic for now and then I can choose uh, runecrafting later on. It was only 8 books anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. The reason for that was I want to obviously be able to buy a staff and I cannot do it if I don't have 20 favor. So now that I have 20% Pissarilius favor, I can purchase a staff of fire from the shop, which is what I want to do. And then we can focus on magic training and prayer training um, basically next. I'm getting really tired here, so after this I'll finally go to bed and conclude the day one for me. But those are the stats before I go to bed. Uh, 40 attack, strength, defense, and basically almost 4 days across the board. Not completely everywhere, but in a lot of skills at least. So first things first, I'll go here and ask her about uh, Slayer. And then I'll uh, also talk to her about something else. Alright, let's see what she gives me first. First of all, she gave me... 
what was that? That was heal giants. That's a really good task, actually. And I want to talk to her and tell her that uh, I don't care about the difficulty. So... Boom. There we go. Perfect. I can now focus on pretty much prayer and magic on this uh, this uh, task, which is nice. But I was thinking of maybe trying to get myself a rune scimitar on this account as well. Uh, but for those wondering, this is my second account. And uh, I'm just AFKing right now because I've been playing my main account pretty much heavily but those are the stats on our slayer alt account slayer is extremely slow guys extremely slow in um with only the rune scimitar and nothing else so i'm kind of just trying to get my stats up by just kind of afking a little bit but nonetheless the stats are not that bad 60 hp 60 strength working on 60 attack right now then 60 defense the prayer is already 48 which is decent slayer is almost 50 so those are the stats by the end of today and with that being said i really do hope you guys did enjoy the second video video on the leagues and if you did a simple like will go a long way i'm trying to post a video every single day so if you are enjoying make sure you subscribe and make sure you click notification bell even so you do not miss the uploads and uh, with that being said i'll see you again tomorrow and thank you very much for watching